yeah, leadership. Let's get this started with the topic of integrity. Men didn't have it, it make a mess of me initially. I didn't think I had the skills until I was immersed in Christianity. Integrity, defined not by shame nor blame, but the behavior remains blamelessly the same. Off to attitude, my dude, the definition is the cool to loot. It's the positive way you behave to things from your point of view. Work ethic sets the tone, diligence versus laziness, you gotta get in the zone. The best philosophy, what I reserve, cause as a good leader we all gotta serve. Yeah, we're a good leader. You don't have to be a good reader Read or happiness to lead don't it. Don't that It's happiness. all about the inside mode yourself, a pure believer. Believe it. Yeah, pure believer. But leadership ain't as easy as it's cracked up to be. A good leader can stumble as quickly as you can say three. These are pitfalls that break even the strongest creed. First is greed, an unthinkable deed that destroys the ability to lead, just like insecurity. The third is pride, which can be the leader's bribe, just we sometimes tied with the things people see on the outside. To be a good yeah, we're a good leader. You don't have to be a good reader, reader. or happiness to lead it. That it's all about the inside mode, yourself a pure believer. Believe it! Yeah, pure believer. Cynicism creates a schism in leaders with even the greatest wisdom. Laziness in the mental degree you cannot see. You learn to loathe because the mental lazy accepts no growth. Sexual sin is the last pitfall of men. It consumes your mind and steals all your time because you'll be way too busy committing the crime. To be a good yeah, we're a good leader. You don't have to be a good reader. reader. All happiness don't to lead that happen. It's all about the inside mode because I'm a pure believer. Yeah, pure believer. Yeah, boy. Baby number one. Swag it up, beefy boy.